Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My Sunday stream, we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. Let's get into the game. It's game time. There it goes. Okay, I did do some practice because my notes for chapter five were garbage. So that's what that's what this like eight save is. Um, it's not real. Ignore it. We're just going straight to seven. Can I also just point out vampires do in fact have an affinity with some animals? It's just doggos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think cats and vampires is good. I think vampires and winged animals is good, like ravens and stuff. Like there's definitely stuff with that. So I totally agree with you, Koneko. Totally agree. Okay, here we go. Yes, we're going to load this file. Okay, to get started today, we are actually going to go to Kilika. Yeah. Horses are good too. Just look at how many classical vampires have dramatic ass coaches. True. All right, so there's definitely some chests to get in Kilika. Ether. And then if we hop over here, we can get a mana tablet. Okay. Go on. All right, let's come over here. Actually, now that I think of it, in some sagas, vampires can turn into wolves. Yeah, it just really depends on like where the particular vampire lore comes from. So it just kind of depends, you know. Thus, you get you get some freedom there because there's so many different kinds of lore. All right, up here we have a remedy, and then if we come around over here, there's another chest. This is also a remedy. Which means I can be a werewolf vampire, screw your false dichotomy. Bingo, you totally can. You can totally be a werewolf vampire. It's okay, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Okay, um, so we get those two, and then if we come around over here, we can get a phoenix down. Now this guy you can do publicity with, so we can do the fourth one. There, and then um, this... There's two people standing over here. Yeah, these guys. They were standing in another area before, but they're, they're over here this time. You can do publicity with them. It says the fifth one for the guy. And then for the girl, it is also the fifth one for publicity. And then for matchmaking, we do the first one. I can use my immortality to finally learn how to spell right, right? And then you can actually spend time on it so that you can keep up with uh, any spelling changes that the English language has. All right, so then after we do that, we're just going to walk over to the next screen. Oh, we can't do it that way. We have to cross. Oh, I got this confused with the other one. We have to take this bridge. My gosh, Karen, get y'all shit together. Yeah, you could learn all kinds of things. Think about like you could actually write a novel, like you could spend time like learning a new craft. Um, you know, you could learn all kinds of neat things if you actually had infinite time. That's what I would do. I would do all kinds of cool shit. What's wrong with wanting to see our family? Excuse me. Yeah! Yeah! But without orders, I can't let you pass. My, 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 my. Some boys don't know how to behave. You tell him, Donna. Have you noticed you're the only one still nitpicking over party politics? New Yemen this, you fleek that. It's called a complex. Get over it. Aren't you listening to the song? Now let them through. But without the order? I just gave you an order. R right away. 
Thank you for the alert, Koneko. Thank you. Remember how Donna said she didn't want to be a leader? And now look at her, doing the leading. So they were right to tell her she should try. Come on, Donna. All right, so we're just going to run right up to the temple. We're not going to worry about getting anything else in Kilika just yet. Oh no, not you. Goodbye. We're not doing all that. Alright, let's save over that practice file. There we go. Okay. And proceed on up. to me, you have forgotten who it is you are supposed to be guarding. I ought to fire you for just up and leaving me the way you Donna! did. Don't interrupt. I've been practicing these lines for days, so be quiet and let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, please forgive me. I'll apologize as much as you want. Don't say I can't be your guardian anymore. I'll never leave your side again. Aww. That's so sweet. Shut up. Ugh, you're making such a scene. How humiliating. Don't think that you're off the hook for embarrassing me like this. You'll be making this up to me for the rest of your life. I think he's okay with that. Donna! Bartello, we're leaving. <laughs> she did it. She said the line. So pretty. Hey, what's with all the balloons? <laughs> I'm Gold Wings. Welcome back. <laughs> Yuna's learning our bed. Tricks of the trade, garment grid. Okay, so there we go. We got episode complete for Kilika. And we have to go back and get treasure chests and more uh, publicity things. So let's go back. And there's a couple things we need to do here. So 
So we got the stuff on the first screen, so we're just gonna go ahead and ho head over to the second one. Watch the dog run into the... <laughs> the pathing on that dog is so weird, because he's just set to follow the kid, and he won't make it around the corner, so he just runs into the boxes. Alright, so the first one is... let's see... I think it's this guy. This, I think those balloons are supposed to be in his hand, but they're just kind of floating off to the side. So for him, you can do the fourth one on publicity. And for this guy, you can do um, the fifth one on publicity. And then, okay. This chest right here is a dispel tonic. This is a star curtain. And then we're gonna come around over here. On this boat is some lunar curtains. And then if you talk to this guy, yes, we wanna take a look. So if you actually talk to them in all the chapters, then you can actually go over to the island. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ferry on over there because there's a couple of items that we can get. All right, the main thing that you want on this island is this chest right here, which is an invincible accessory. So we definitely want that. And then if you talk to this kid, you can get some coins. All right, let me guys, sh oh, I can't get to the menu here. I was gonna show you the accessory. Okay, we have to go back. All right, so then we go down to accessories. Let's sort them. I'll show you what Invincible does. Insignia of Destruction allows max damage to exceed 9999. Okay, so this will let you do a, a damage limit break, which we definitely want to have. All right, back on this side. Oh, let's go up there. we come up here, we can once again take all of Donna and Bartello's life savings. They keep they keep putting it in this chest, we keep stealing it. I don't know why they keep doing that. So anyway, 3,000 gil. Let's see what happens if you talk to them also. It pains me, but I suppose I have to admit it. This couldn't have happened if it weren't for you. Thank you. I'm back together with Donna. It's all thanks to you, Yuna. That was a really terrible Bartello voice. I'm so sorry for subjecting you to that. <laughs> All right, then there's also another chest. Come on, there we go. Around here, this is some light curtains. Get up there. This lady you can also do publicity for. You do the second one. And then for matchmaking, you do the third one. And then I think there's one more. I wanna say it's this guy. Yeah, okay, so for this guy, you can do publicity and you do the fifth one. Okay, so that's all the stuff on this screen. Now we're going to go into the forest. All right, now in the forest... There is one spot we need to go Leave it to, me. to get some treasure. But first up is run away from this stupid iron side. We're not going to deal with him. All right, so we can come up here. So you hop up this tree 
And there are two things up here, this chest right here, which is some arcane lore. And then, hey, it's Chiapa. So once again, it doesn't really matter if you win or lose this. It doesn't really get you anything specific. The Cact War is on. Shit. <laughs> I'm just not fast enough. Well, I got some shots on that one. All right, so that's where that cactuar is. Now there's some other chests at the temple. So let's go up to the temple area. Why is Pain down? She must've got hit by that guy. We'll heal her up better after this fight. Oh, well, she's down to one HP again because of stupid death blast. There we go. They're all dead now. Oh, a chocobo! Oh, but this isn't the right place, so we're not going to catch it. Because he's probably not going to be bold if we catch that one. Oh, did he even get a chance to oversoul before I killed him? I feel like probably he didn't. Oh well. I should have let him oversoul. I didn't realize that was happening. There's a whole bunch of chests here, starting with to the left right here. Jane, hello! We have an X potion. Um, to the right over here, we have an ether. How are you doing today, Jane? Oh no, this is a mega potion. Uh, there's the ether chest. There we go. Jane, we did a quiz about vampires in honor of the RP today, and I got Warlord Vampire. Oh, we want to come in here. So in this room right here, there's another chest. Right here, room to the left. <gasps> what I miss, Tai T. <laughs> you did, you did. Um, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I still have a link. I can repost it. Um, so that was a mega elixir in that room. Do I still have a link? I do. Okay. Thank you so much for the sub, Jane. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it when you make Jeff Bezos spend his money on me. Yeah, do it and tell us what you get. Um, Koneko got the best answer, which was a vampire that spends their time on their hobbies. All right, so in this room, we have two chests. We have a wall ring and we have a reg and ba bangle. And then let's go into the temple proper. Yeah, so I got Warlord Vampire, which surprised me, but apparently we're going to rage war. So my um, my question to you is, if I am a Warlord Vampire, will you be part of my army? Will you be part of my army, Jane? Will you be one of my soldiers? You can have whatever job you want. All right, so we got to go down the elevator for some more chests. 
ironically just selected vampire maid to be a blind soldier paying order so yes <laughs> yes fantastic fantastic thank you koneko is going to be our strategist all right so this chest right here this is a cat's bell oh it's so hard to see the chest like the colors of them are so blended in this is some ethers this chest in the middle right here is some turbo ethers. And then this chest right here is a wizard's bracelet. Bracelet, And that's it. That's all of the um, Kilika chests and things that you can get. So we're going to go back out here and get back on the airship. Yeah, I know it's been it's been kind of a minute since you've been able to come into the streams. Um, what do you think about them being like cosplay streams now? When it's not a podcast episode, doing a cosplay, what do you think? Is this this is like a this is like a new thing that I've just that I started doing kind of recently. Like maybe the past couple months. I love this. Yes, okay, fantastic. All right, so we are gonna save. We should be at 80% now. Yeah, so we're right at 80%. Um, so yeah. Board the airship. All right, so we're gonna use our little handy dandy tool to check and make sure it's exactly 80%. It should be, it should be. Yep, we're at exactly 80%, okay. All right, so since we got a cactuar, we're gonna return back to Beaconel and um, progress the cactuar situation. Oh wait, no, that's not the mother. That's the one that talks about the cave. Where's Chiapa's mom? Up here, maybe? Well, there's Chiapa. Chiapa, follow us to your mom. There she is. Oh, I'll translate. My little Chiapa, have you grown? Now, aren't you glad you listened to your mother and took the trip? That's the gist of it. All right, next mother is back here. I'll translate. I've gotten word from Ario. His message reads, Two brothers, my friends, to a spring went we. I got to see snow. What rhymes with we? He may never listen to his parents, but I can't help but love my sweet little Ario. That's the gist of it. All right. Well, we know where there's snow. So guess where we're going next? We're going to head over to Mount Gagazet and do the episode complete there. See what's going on with uh, with Kamari. I got vampire obsessed with dead lover. <laughs> Jane, why are you so emo? Why? All right, let's go to Gagazette. Why are you so emo, my friend? All right, so um, to trigger the scene here, you walk south a little bit. Elder, what path should Ronzo walk? Garrick not know. Garrick must be patient. Garrick feel hate, try to stop. But without path, hate is strong. Garrick lose to hate. Hmm. Garrick rather unleash anger than go mad searching for path Garrick cannot find. Kimari tell Garrick many times, force not solve problems. Then what good is power Ronzo received from Mountain? Once Ronzo trained to defend the Evan's sacred ground. But now summoners not come, Ronzo power go to waste. Kamari, true elder? Then Kamari, answer, Garrick! <laughs> Kamari, no elder. You're so demanding, Garrick. So 
so then Garrick walks away, but we can go and actually talk to Kamari about that conversation. You not see Kamari, shame. Don't be ashamed. Yeah, Yuni's right. Forget about that ogre. Kimari is elder. Kimari must lead way to Ronso future. Elder. Good news. Ronso children return to mountain. <gasps> it's Leon and Aid. They're back. Oh. We caused Elder Kamari much worry. But we could not find a way to restore Elder's horn. We are sorry. No apologies. Lost Leon and Aid trouble Kamari more than lost Horn. Oh. Elder. Leon and Aid enjoy seeing Vast Spira? Yes, Elder. Aid did not want to come home. Leon felt that way too. We saw today Spira with our own eyes and we thought deeply. We think about path to future Spira. We decided. We will journey again and meet many people. Just like Kimari ended up doing, only they're doing Long it for joy. Teach Leon and Aid more than Icy Mountain can. Mm hmm Better than Kimari leaving for shame. Kimari? Kimari decide. All right, so Kimari's heading up the mountain to talk to Garrick, and we need to do that, too. So let's save. Jam, by the way, is the is the fair dance thing for sure happening? Oh my gosh, stop checking on that. <gasps> Pizza? Ooh, I think we're going to get Chinese for dinner tonight. And I have leftover of my, my club sandwich in the fridge. That's what I'm going to eat on my break. I can't wait. For sure happening. I won't settle. Fuck yeah. So is Johnny going to ask Abigail? Because like, I know you said she doesn't have to say yes and he's a bad person, but like Abigail doesn't want anything nice for herself. She never, she never wants anything nice for herself. She's always choosing the bad man. So I'm just saying like, it could be fun and funny. I think I'll ask her for a dance at the dance. Yes. So they don't have to be tied down. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. So then they can do other dances too. Because if it's just a dance, then she can definitely say yes without it causing any kind of issues. Ask her in the starter scene though, it's gonna be cute. Yes! I need to get my character corner going. I need to get my starters going. I meant to do it yesterday, but I got distracted with other things. What's one dance with a convict? That's right. That's right. What's one? Just for fun. You know, just, just, just a little dance. <laughs> I feel like this RP idea like was so good. Like, everybody came back. Even people that didn't come to the um, Game of Thrones one. Like, everyone's there. You know? At least the people that have time anyway. And it's because it's such a good idea, I'm convinced. Yeah, I agree. It's appealing to a wide. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, definitely um, better wide appeal. I do see that some of the um, people that were in the other RP, though, didn't seem to make it over to this one. So that's a little sad. But, um, you know, some people like to just stick to their fandom 
and they're just kind of like Game of Thrones role players or whatever, so like I get it. Or they're maybe like medieval role players or whatever, you know. This is like one of the few times that you actually do have to walk up the mountain, even though there's no chests here. So yeah, that's why we're doing this. There was no destinations on the teleporter. We could not use it. Yeah, some people don't like cowboys, I guess. Like, I think maybe they should see a doctor about that, but to each their own. I mean, I don't particularly like cowboys. Um, Western does not appeal to me, but vampires and werewolves do. So all I had to do is read the vampire and werewolf lore and then I was like, okay, I'm in love. I, I can tolerate the Western <laughs> for the vampire werewolf. <laughs> yeah, it's just not really my jam, but you know, I don't have to like everything about the setting because I already like most of it. And I love that the humans have powers, too. That's, like, the best part. I feel like there's more human representation so far than anything else, as far as the Taken characters go. Like, there's lots and lots of Rattlers. There they are! Kimari and Garrick! We caught up to them! We were ahead of Kimari, but somehow he snuck ahead of us, even though we didn't see him at all. He got them fast mountain cat feet. There should be, I think, humans vastly outnumber them, so I'm relieved to see that trend. Yes, me too. Because we can say humans outnumber them, you know, for the non-player characters, but, like, if it's that's not reflected in the player characters, it's kind of jarring. And we've had that happen before. Teleporter's now operational. Okay. Uh, do not actually teleport. Okay, let's go talk to these guys. Garrick not listen unless Kamari speak of Ronzo future. Kamari unable to give answer he not have. Kamari not elder. <laughs> Can I hurt him? Ooh, now she's mad. So be it. Kimari, teach Garrick how to use force! <laughs> Kitty corns. <laughs> Kimari, you force? Force not solve problems, Kimari. Still have no answer. They're called Ronso. Garrick not think for himself. Beg Kimari for answer. Yeah, Garrick. Garrick not even pop. You need to bring something to the table. Leon and Aid make long journey, find own path. So, Garrick must settle Garrick problems? Wrong. Garrick not alone. Let us think together. Kimari is elder. Elder right. Mm-hmm. He's just... One Ronso problem is problem for all. All Ronso mm -hmm. problem is problem for one. One day Ronso path will be clear. This Kimari believe. You don't need to solve it on your own, Garrick. You just need to bring something to the table. That's all. Yeah, they're called Ronso. They're Ronso and they protect the mountain. You know, there's rumors about them making a Final Fantasy X-3. And even though, like, I don't want a sequel, I didn't want the sequel, but like, but I love Spirit and these characters so much, I would come back, even if it sucked. Maybe <gasps> needs horn. Kimari think looking at road ahead better than looking back on things lost. Mm hmm. Kimari look at future. Garrick want to see too. Ronso must look together without fear. On. 
Honor to Ronso. Honor to Mountain. Long live Elder Kamari. Yes, Garrick, support now. Long live Kamari. Long live Kamari. Long live Kamari. Yeah. Long live Kamari. Better than looking back on things lost, he said. <laughs> Ouch. Let's go. What about her? Long live Kamari! Long live Kamari! <laughs> Riku's gonna be an honorary um, Ronso now. I would only value your review if it did come out. Well, I would definitely play it. I would definitely play it if, it, if they made that. So Sacred Beast Garment Grid, that's what you get for the episode complete for Mount Gagazette. Like 100%. Since we did 100% run of 10, we're, I think we're gonna, I wanna end up doing a 200% run of, uh, of this game of 10 too. So like, we'd have to play 10 3, we'd have to. All right, so now we're gonna go back to Mount Gagazette and get the couple other things that we need there. Um, Cause remember the Cactuar is here, but we didn't get him yet. Okay, so from here though, it's not just the Cactuar. There's like another thing too that we need to get. I think we climb up here. Trying to remember. Yeah, here we go, okay. So we, you also need to climb up here and talk to Leon and Aid. Thanks to you, our path has been found. Yay! You found it yourselves. Still, Aid wants to thank you. Take this. So, the way you get this garment grip is when you tell Leon and Aid where to go, you watch the calm sphere scene of them. So, for we told them to go to Kilika, and then we watched the scene where Donna said that she had met them. So then we get this garment grid. A Guado friend gave it to us. I can't take this. He gave us lots more like it. If we need more, we can always visit him again. True. Okay. But make sure you tell Kamari this time. Yeah, don't just run okay. off. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize there was monsters up here. <laughs> but there is, I guess. Oh! Excuse you? Excuse you? What the heck? Yeah, that's what you get. I love that counter. Nausea powder. Oh my god, kill it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Unidress is the way I think Abby should. Oh my god, you're so right. Uh, Abby would definitely have Yuna's style. Like a little bit cute, a little bit crazy. 100%. Okay, so now we gotta go back down the mountain. And, oh, I didn't, no, you can just hop down. There we go. We're trying to get to the area um, where you fight Seymour in 10. Come on, hop your happy ass down. There we go. Which I think to get to that, we go this way. Oh wait, I wanna show y'all something this way too. So since we got the um, the perfect good ending for, for this area, there's like a special, there's a special thing. It's over here. Yeah, this pack didn't get us this time. All right. And like all of Yuna's outfits are so perfect for Abby. All right, so we're gonna come around over here and look at that. Oh wait, I think, I think you couldn't see it because it was like on the right side of the screen where my cam is, but hang on, you'll see it in a second. It's so cool. Okay, look, look what the sculptor made us. Since we got the perfect ending, there's a Yuna Ronso statue with a horn and everything. No matter what path Ronso walks, Sacred Mountain will watch and protect. She made this for us. Look at that. That's amazing. 
Yuna is honorary Ronso. Yeah. So if you get like the perfect, um, I'll do all the perfect stuff in Mount Gagazet area. That's what you get. Immortalized in a Ronso statue. Alright, so now we need to head down the mountain, so I think the best way to go for that would be this way. I'm on a roll. So we need to get to that Seymour area. I can't hop down, I have to go through, okay. I hope this is the right way. <laughs> I have a little bit of trouble navigating Mount Gagazette with all the new areas. So hopefully I'm going the right way. But I know where I'm ultimately trying to get to. I'm ultimately trying to get to where you fight Seymour on that platform in 10. Oh, she's stoned! She's back! Come on, kill it! Yeah, keep trying to stone Yuna. She has a ribbon, so you can do that. See ya! Where does this spit us out at? Here, okay. And then I can jump down from here, right? Yeah. Go on. And then I think I go around to the left. We'll see if that's right in a second. Bam, bam, bam. Is that right? I feel like this is wrong and it's the other way. Look at what's here. Yeah, that's in the cave. Okay. It's the other way. Go south around. Remember when the cave walls here were all covered with faith? They're not they're not there anymore. They're all gone. Okay, uh, I think this is right. Yep, 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 there we go. Hello, Mr. Cactuar. We found Aereo. Aereo and his big brothers. All right, let's begin. The Cact War is on. Oh my god. How do people do this? If 
Fabi and Johnny become even friends, he'll buy her a studded gun. Oh my god, please. Please? Please? Can she have can she have a blinged out gun? <gasps> yes! Bedazzled! Abby with a bedazzled gun. Wouldn't that be so cool? Is that even is that even possible? Can you put rhinestones on a gun? Or did they like melt or something? <laughs> Johnny's his name Sarah? Of course it is. Who's Sarah? Tell me about Sarah. Who did she used to be? There was a, is there a human in his past named Sarah? I feel like there would be. All right, so since there's no chests here, that's all there is to do in Mount Gagazet. All right, let's save. We should be at 81.2% after that. So let's check our little tool. Yep, 81.2, okay. She was his first and only love. She was too smart and good and he pretended to hate her so she'd leave and go become something. <sighs> My heart. Oh, Jane, why? <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. All right. <sighs> okay, we gotta go back to Cactuar Nation. We gotta go back to Cactuar Nation and progress to the next Cactuar. <clears throat> and it worked, she left. She left hard, oh my God. Well, he was mean to her, so of course she did. Wow, my heart. Why do I love Johnny so much? He's supposed to be like the enemy. Thank you, Gullwings, Wings, for finding my Aerio. Of course, he'll probably just run off somewhere again. That's the gist of it. <laughs> but we found him for now. All right, so let's go talk to the next mother. Oh, I thought the next one was near the front. Oh no, it's this one back here. Burn down his house. Wow. Yeah, um, Beaconel's awesome. I am Barcella's mother. My daughter simply adores money. She left the desert in search of a man of means, whatever that is. It turns out our man of means isn't quite what you'd expect. Managed to save up quite a bundle. Turns out he's a, it's a former summoner. Don't get caught green-handed, Barcella. That's the gist of it. All right, so we know a former summoner that has lots of money because they keep storing it and we keep stealing it. So, we're actually gonna head back to Kilika to go do this part of the Cactuar quest. <clears throat> now, I don't want to trigger the next part of um, Beaconel Desert, so we're gonna go get this Cactuar, but then we're not gonna come back to Beaconel. We're gonna proceed somewhere else. But we know where this Cactuar is, we know. So we had to go to the second screen and then head up. There's the dog running into the crates again. Gotta lurk my turn to be on baby duty. Have fun, don't be so too mean to the cactus. Don't worry, I'm gonna save the cactus. And thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. We love our lurkers here. All right, so here we go. Up here. Here's our cactuar friend. You found Barcella. Marcella and Donna's secret stash? <gasps> yes, in fact, yes. The Cactuar is on. Oh my God. Oh, the end. The end of that one. Look at Donna up there judging us. Judging us for our 500 score. Girl, please. You couldn't do better. Okay, so we're actually not going to return her to Cactuar Nation just yet. 
We'll do that a little bit later on when we're ready. We are not ready yet. All right, next scene. Next scene is the best because we are gonna go check up on Waka and Lulu on Besaid and see about their baby. Hey! It's a boy. You wanna meet him? Yeah. All right, let's go meet him. All right, so they're over by the temple. Before we go over there, though, let's do some of the um, the publicity. So you can talk to her, and she does the second one for publicity, and then the third one for matchmaking. And then this guy, um, for publicity, you do the first one. It's all the same people. It's all the same people as before. We've got the shopkeeper over here. And for her, you do fifth and third. Then we need the lady walking her dog. Oh, where's she at? Does she not spawn quite yet? She might not spawn quite yet. Maybe we can only do those ones. Now over here, you get black lore. So remember we saw that little hint from the dog going over here and burying something? This is what he was burying, some black lore. Okay, there are a couple more in this area of people. Um, for publicity, but I think we have to go do the scene first. So let's go talk to Waka and Lulu. Swaddled in a flower. Ur, Reculida! Look at his hands. They're so tiny. What do you think? He's cute, yeah? Good thing he don't look like me. Don't be silly. Look, he's got your mouth. He's got in your hair. Mm, you think so? He looked just like you. What's his name? Uh, uh. <laughs> I think the calm will end before Waka makes up her mind. <laughs> well, you better decide soon. <laughs> no rushing, yeah? Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Becoming a good father requires intense emotional preparation, yeah? Mm. How long are you planning on preparing? Until, uh, my preparations are done, yeah? Oh. All right, so that's the scene. Okay, now they're spawned. So this kid right here, the little boy, come here. You can do publicity with him just like you've been doing. It's the third one. And then the lady walking her dog. Where is she? Hello? There she is. I just lost track of her for a second. Okay. So for her, you do four for the publicity. And then also four for the matchmaking. So that's everything inside the Besaid town. So we've got a couple of chests outside. And then we have to go trigger another scene. We gotta run all the way to the beach for the next scene that we're supposed to do. Mm. 
and all the different calm spheres and secret spheres and things just laying around. So there's a chest down by the waterfall, Twilight Rain. So just like we're used to, the chests are all in the same spots. Oh, Malboro, get him, get him. Huh, huh. All right, inside here, we've got some chests as well. Mm, go on. Oh my gosh, the flippy camera. Bum, bum, bum. Get in there. Okay. I love Berserker. They just freaking destroy. All right, ethers. Then let's get the chest on the other side. I'll show y'all what that is too. Oh, use a regular monster now instead of a boss. Don't worry, I take you down. Why y'all picking on Riku? She do got the best flippies though. This is a mega potion. Okay, now we can actually go to the beach itself. at your service. Take him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, the secret beach. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. The secret beach has a couple of chests too. So can I not get to that screen right now? I guess I can't get to that screen right now. Okay, I must have to do this next scene before I can get to the secret beach. All right, so to watch the next scene, we come over here. Oh, we need to talk to Keepa. So you can do publicity with Keepa, but he's down here this time. So anyway, you do the first one. Has Waka settled on a name for his kid? No, not yet. Never could make up his mind. Uh, 
I have something here. I'd like you to give it to him. It's a memory of a war buddy. I give it to him myself, but you understand. So make sense once we see the sphere. All aboard! We'll be setting sail shortly. See, he gets it. Don't worry, Becklin, we will. Sorry. They jump like that on land. I don't get it. I want to know how. Practice harder. Becklem, you send such mixed messages, I swear. Hey. Next time we meet, let's blitz, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Show us that shot again sometime. Aww. Huh. Slackers to the very end. But they're not slackers. They just have fun as a value too. Okay, so we have to go give this sphere to Waka. I think I can go to the secret beach though before we go back. Yeah, okay, I can do it now. Get up there. Right? There we go. Hop! Hop! Okay, so on the secret beach we've got some X potions and some gill. Come on, Yuna, get up there. Whee! Gonna take this out. Odo, don't you gastric juice me? Excuse you. Yeah, you die. I would love to know more about what the various ruins are that are on Besaid, you know? They're kind of mysterious. Alright, so there's Waka, so we want to talk to him. What's the matter? I thought I'd go say goodbye to Becklem. He's already gone. Oh. He gave me this sphere. For me? Hey, let's see. Waka, remember that time? Nah, you probably forgot. Something I told you back when we were kids, yeah? There's a sphere on the island, I said. Showing mom and dad. I lied. His chapu. There's no such sphere. I'm sorry. Aww. <laughs> back then, you'd lecture me no matter what I did. 
Someone has to keep you in line, yeah? I guess I was kind of bitter. That's why I made up that story about the sphere. If you got time to take pictures, you got time to pray. Wow. Especially since you're joining the Crusaders. Enough with the preaching. Someone has to keep you in line with our parents not around. Knock it off with the surrogate parenting and give us both a break. I just need you to be my brother. His brother, yeah. I don't know why he just couldn't come out and say it. Waka, it's hard to say those things sometimes. Anyways, you guys stay in the village till nightfall at least, yeah? I think it's hard. It's hard for Chapu to say that, especially when Waka's such a hard ass and like wouldn't want to hear it. So like, I totally get it. So after we talk with Waka, we're going to go back to the village for a scene. Now you can talk to this guy and do Gunner's Gauntlet again. Um, so if you want to crack more of the levels, like we only got up to level, um, we beat level five. We're on level six, I think. So you can do that if you want to here in chapter five. Waka gathered everyone in the village around the fire. I'm going to go beat all this scene, please. I'll be right back. <clears throat> well, you probably know why I called you all here, huh? I'd like to introduce the newest member of Besaid Village. Oh, we already met him. <laughs> Say, you picked a name yet? <laughs> Don't tell me this is a brainstorming session. Like I do something like that. I chose a name. His name is Vedina. Everybody, take good care of him, yeah? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Congrats. Back. I always try to cram myself into some kind of mold, you know? A blitzer, or a guardian, or a follower of Yevon, and now a father. I always get so wound up about what I should be. But you know, in the end, I'm just me. Anyway, I can't keep coming up with new walkers all the time, eh? Mm -mm. So it looks like I'll just have to start doing things my way. Yeah. That's the way I'll write our story. <laughs> Hang in there, Dad. Sin was nothing compared to diaper changing, huh? True. So you know you did everything right and got the best ending for Besaid if you learned the baby's name. Hey, sorry it took me so long to decide on a name, Lou. It's all right. I knew it would be worth the wait. I had faith. You had faith in me? Waka, we're in this together. Whether you see it or not, I really do rely on you. <laughs> Guess I'd better not drop the ball, yeah? You won't. They're in their own little world. Come on. Let's not bother them. I like how she bows to Besaid like it really is, you know. Oh, it's okay without her now. Episode complete. So for Besaid, you don't have to go back to, to get everything there. We were able to get it at the time, so we're okay. We don't have to return. We do want to save though and make sure we have the right percentages. So we should be at 83%. Yep, right at 83. Okay, fabulous. All right, so that is Besaid. Next stop, 
is Luca. Let's go. The day that Blitz freaks across Spirit have been waiting for is finally here. That's right, folks. Blitzball season has begun. Wow, is it that time of year already? I wonder if Waka and the gang are here. The Aurochs aren't coming. I hear they've got their hands full with babysitting. <laughs> Aww, they should have just brought Radina along. And guess what? They want the Gold Wings to compete in their place. Are you serious? All right, I've always wanted to play Blitzball. Why do we have to play? Don't sweat this small stuff. Leave everything to me. Me! So, are we in or what? So, let's do it. I have been practicing my diving a lot. <laughs> you know, you might be surprised. So when it comes to percentage points in completion, you do not actually have to play any Blitzball. You can just press cancel here. Um, I am going to show you guys, though, how you can do it. Um, I'm not really going to be playing any Blitzball on stream. We'll see if I do it off stream like this week, you know, in between now and the next stream. But like, it's not fun. <laughs> It's not fun. The only reason to play it is to get another AP egg, which there's another there's another better, more fun way to get an AP egg. But if you want to get two AP eggs within one playthrough, this is this other one you can get. Um, so anyways, uh, let's go into train. So we want to do a formation of four, two, one. Um, and then I want to move these guys around. So this is going to be Riku here. This is going to be Yuna here and then we're gonna put bigs oh here um let's swap buddy and brother yeah bigs buddy and then let's swap brother and wedge and then shinra for our goalie okay done um for play style we are going to choose post play and then we are going to we're gonna be done and now what we're gonna do is choose play blitz ball and you want to do an exhibition match. And this is basically how you're going to level up. You're just going to do a zillion fucking exhibition matches um, against the Killika Beasts. And here's what here's what it's like to play Blitzball. Watch this. Look, Ma, no hands. We choose overhead map and then it just goes. It just goes. You're just playing the manager. You don't you don't play. You don't play. Um, I don't know why they did this. Worst change ever. I was not the biggest fan of Blitzball in the actual, like in Final Fantasy X, and they somehow made it worse. So, after you play the games, I'll show you what you do next. But you just you just watch the triangles run around. You just you just watch the triangles run around. Um, yeah, so because you're just watching, you want to do overhead mode because it's way faster. You can actually watch them. Um, with the moves if you don't go into overhead mode, but like you're still not actually playing, so it just takes forever. You see some cool animations, but like, why? Why? When you can't play. So anyway, you do the Kill Like a Beast because you win. And uh, yeah. So yeah, so we win. Bonus command points 50. And then basically what you do at that point is you go into train, and you see how we've got all those command points up there. So what you want to do is you want to level up Shinra's catch, which is this one, and you want to put in the blue amount of points. So you can see catch says six for blue. So we want to do six points. If you do more than that, it's useless. It's not going to do anything. So for pain, you want to do her, um, her shooting. Yeah, you want to do her shooting. And she, Eight is for SHT, so that's what we do, okay? So you want to level up Shinra and Pain first. Now, once you've got them leveled up as much as you as you can, then you can start leveling up Riku and Yuna's um, pass skill. But basically, you want to you want to get them to their max, um, their max points. So, and it, it takes like, oh my god, it takes forever. It takes so many games. But anyway, once you set the points, then you choose practice, and you just click through all your people. So you can see Shinra, his catch is four now, so that when it's pink, it leveled up. 
Okay, and then you go back into here and you see, okay, catch is three. So we're wasting points if we keep it at six, so we have to put it down to three. And then pain, her shot is nine now instead of eight for the max points, you'd put it at nine. And then we do practice again. And level them up again. Okay, then we check it again. Catch is still three. Shot is now eight. So we will put it back to eight. And you have to press the button through each person. And I've, I accidentally cycle through twice all the time when I try to do this. So we're putting his catch down to two. We're changing her shot to seven so we don't waste points. And then we're practicing through everybody. All right, uh, now his catch will be down to one. Pain down to six. Uh, see, catch is zero now. So we don't, yeah, we're gonna do zero points, but like keep it at goalkeeper. Pain, shot seven. So we're gonna put it to seven points. All right, catch still says zero. Pain, shots now six. All right, catch is still zero. Shot is now seven. Catch is still zero, a shot is zero now. I'm trying to get it to have points again. Still zero. Okay, shot is two now. Zero, one. Zero and two. And now we have no points. You can see in the top right corner, we have no points. So that's it. And you rinse and repeat. You rinse and you repeat until you max out certain stats. Th that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Chili Cheese. Welcome back. Welcome back. Is this Blitzball the worst FF side thing of all time? Yeah, and somehow in 10 2, they made it even fucking worse. It's ridiculous. I can't stand it. So anyway, that's how you do it. And if you do that for several hours, you you may be rewarded with an AP egg. That's what that's the only reason to do it is to get that egg. So anyway, at least I showed it. <laughs> I showed it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do publicity in Kilika. Um, how are, how have you been, by the way, Chili? How have you been? Have you been having a good day? <laughs> have you been having a good weekend? I hope so. I hope it's better than playing Blitzball on Final Fantasy X 2. The worst side game ever. <laughs> All right. So this guy you can do publicity for for this kid and you do number four. Um, then we're going to go around the dock area because there's a couple people that you can do in this kind of like dock area. I think, yeah, back here. These two guys, I'd rather jump rope in nine. <laughs> True. At least that actually takes a little bit of skill. You know, at least that actually takes a little bit of skill um, instead of just fucking complete tedium. Okay, so these two guys um, that are chatting behind the boxes, you can talk to this one, I think. Yeah, and he's the third one. And I don't, I think, yeah, you can't talk to that one, okay. Yeah, so if you want to get two AP eggs in your playthrough, you gotta do Blitzball. But like, in my opinion, it is not freaking worth it. All right, you can talk to this guy. Come here. Um, so this guy for uh, publicity, you do the first one. Oh my God, I couldn't read my notes for a second. This lady right here, you can do publicity for the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, you do the second one, right? 
Yes. Then on this screen, there's a lady walking over here. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Boop, boop. Okay, so for her, you can do um, publicity, the second one, and also matchmaking, the second one. All right, so that's all the publicity in this area. So we got to go over to the front area now. All right, so right here, you can do publicity with this guy again, um, and it's the fifth one. And then we're gonna go up the stairs. All right, this lady you can promo again. So for the publicity, you do the fifth one. And for the matchmaking, you do the third one. There's also this chest right here, which is some light curtains. And then this lady, you can do publicity, the third one, and matchmaking, the second one. All right, so here's how you actually get the episode complete for this one. I'm not a completionist anymore, too old for that shit. <laughs> View games nowadays make me want to dedicate that much time, yes. Indivisible is probably the last one. I, I I hear you. When I play games on my own, I definitely do not do this completionist shit. It's for um, it's basic, but I like doing it for stream. I think it's fun to show off and hang out with you guys. Um, but uh, for my own personal playthroughs, <laughs> no. All right, so here's how you get episode complete in this in Luca. You come over here. Time to whistle. I practiced. Wherever I go, Spira is full of places tied to my memories. Mm -hmm. Memories of my journey. Memories of you. Huh? What's wrong? But it's... You can't see it? See what? Do you need a break? Maybe she does need a break, yes. But the Moogle is really there. Wait here! Mission time! So what we are gonna do is we are gonna chase Yuna's hallucination Moogle, okay? She's, uh, she, she can't, she can't help, she can't help it, but we're gonna chase it. Cause it's definitely always good to believe in and chase your hallucinations. That should happen. Um, good life advice. Yep, only you, Yuna. It's just your memories. Haven't actually played 10-2 yet. Only beat 10 a year ago or so after so long. Oh my gosh, 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy. I love 10 so much. 
and I actually was not a huge fan of 10 2 um, until I finally beat it. It took me beating it to be like, okay, I do like this game. Because like the combat, that system is very good, but the story is a little bit off-putting in certain ways. Um, but it's worth it in the end for the couple of critiques I have on the story. Titus so didn't know what was going on then. Sweet summer child. These are our memories. Yours and mine. But I don't think I'm ready to let them be memories yet. Aww. Maybe I'm confused, but... It's okay. with you a dream I think my heart won't stop pounding that's not a dream not if your heart's pounding like that you and someone you care about are connected somehow that's what it is how worldly I felt that way too about who yeah about who Riku spill it Maybe we can trade secrets. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. I guess everyone's like this. We cling to our secrets, our doubts, our memories. We're never able to put them aside. Even though they confuse us, there are some things we can only find in that confusion. I think it's okay to feel that way. Yeah, it's okay to have your memories, Yuna. And that is episode complete for Kilika. I mean, not for Kilika, freaking Luca. That's episode complete for Luca, the heck. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. We should be at 83.6% after doing the Luca stuff. Let's make sure. Yes, 83.6, okay. So, now we are gonna go to the next area. So we're gonna hit up um, Mushroom Rock Road next. Because we chose New Yevon, um, we're cut out of certain things for episode five for Mushroom Rock Road. So let me show you what we can do from choosing New Yevon. So first, just like in all of the Mushroom Rock Road uh, chapters, we've got some chests up in this little area over here that we're gonna go grab. This chest right here is a Mega Potion, and this chest right over here is 200, 2,500 gil. Does 10 to only have three main characters and nobody else? Yes, basically. You only have um, Yuna, Riku, and Pain, but they can change jobs. So there's like a whole job system. So like right now I've got them all in the Berserker dress sphere. That's what it's called. Um, but because they can totally change jobs at any point and all three girls are good at all the jobs, like it's not, they don't have like specializations. Like that's how it works instead of having different characters for different roles. Elma. I went to your concert. It was spectacular. I was so moved. Thanks to you, we should be able to resolve our conflicts with New Yevon peacefully. Yay! The guys who went to the concert have been going around pushing for a truce. That's great. Sadly, there are a great many League members who don't know what to do with their energy. It may sound odd, but they're unhappy about losing the chance to fight. Oh. They are so ready to blow up. That's actually kind of common. But Commander Lucille thought of this great idea. Like, what if everybody blew off some steam with a battle tournament? Sounds like fun. We had hoped that you would be able to participate. 
but if people affiliated with Yevon were to take part, the tournament might get out of hand. Well, we're not really allied with Yevon. Hmm, some of the other troops just don't understand that. Well, I guess we're not gonna change their mind. Let's go, Uni. Yeah, you're right. My apologies. All right, so even though we can't do the tournament, we are actually going to head in because there's another scene um, that we can see at the end of Mushroom Rock Road. So it is kind of like really common, honestly, in war times for like once the war is over, all of the soldiers like not really knowing what to do with themselves and having struggles because, you know, they were trained to fight and now there's no fighting. So what they're experiencing is actually pretty normal. Um, I started playing but when it was immediately after I finished 10 we're and I was burnt out. Of New Yevon. We're not allies. There's something I have to find out. Don't tend to hinder you, but some of the other troops are still edgy. Mm. You best be careful. Hey, your song was great. Thank you. I started playing, but it was immediately after I finished 10 and was burnt out. I know the job system because they use it in some of the others. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. So very similar to Final Fantasies with job systems. I'm back. Welcome back, Koneko. Welcome back. We're, we're beating up some youth league, unfortunately, because they don't understand that we're not actually allied with New Yevon. Now, if we had allied with um, New Yevon, we'd actually be able to participate in the tournament, but we didn't, so we can't. But we can still walk down to the end, and there's a, there is a scene at the end I want to show you guys. So we're going to do that. We are not going to go down into the Den of Woe area yet. We'll do that way later. We're just trying to do the this top side Mushroom Rock area right now. Got him. Too easy. Too easy. No, um, no big old Malbros on the road this time. We can just twisty turny around however we want. Get him. So long to get to the end of this road. <laughs> it's like it's quite long for just a little twisty turny rock road. Get him. Yeah, so this job right here, um, Chili, this is Berserker. And the reason why it's awesome is because it has all kinds of counters. So I've got the counter skill on it. Um, and I've got the Regan skill on it right now, and we're trying to learn magic counter at the moment, so they will also do a counter whenever anyone casts magic on them. And then, once you learn that, you can learn evade encounter. So in addition to countering um, everything, they'll also dodge. Okay, so here's the scene that we can witness. Lady Yuna, that song of yours really got me thinking. If we had fought a war with New Yevon, it would have torn Spira in two. True. And I might not be talking to you right now. Mm hmm The fact is, there are still League members who want war. But I'll stop them alone if I have to. I don't want what happened a thousand years ago to happen again. No thank you. Just you watch, Lady Yuna. I won't let you down. So a lot of people understood the song. You know, that was pretty studly. He's all talk. You know, if there were more people like Yibel around, things could change. Yeah, I they could. 
So that's how you get episode complete from Mushroom Rock Road. Even if you chose New Yevon. You can see there's a chest there <laughs> that we could not grab. We have to go back and go all the way to the end of Mushroom Rock Road again. Um, but we do want that chest. Let's check our percentage first, because that should have gotten us the percentage points. We should be right at 84. Okay, yes, we're at 84. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, let's go back. And we're here again. And we're going to go all the way to the end. Koneko, what did you have for dinner today? I assume that was part of also your lurking, that you were going to do that too. This that time for you. I think we're having Chinese. As you know, Sunday, a lot of times we, uh, we get like some kind of takeout. Usually it's wings and sushi from Publix. That's kind of our common one, but I think we're doing something different today. Spare ribs. Oh my gosh, spare ribs sound so good. Mmm. I'd like some spare ribs. We have some ribs in the freezer. Maybe next weekend we'll make some ribs. I don't know. Depends on what Levi has in mind for Saturday. But ribs is one of our Saturday meals a lot of times. I am hungry. I didn't eat any... I usually have like a little bit of like brunch or something before stream. Um, but I didn't today because we tried the new... Uh, chai pumpkin iced latte thing that Starbucks has. And so it was like just way too full from that <laughs> to actually eat any food. So I'm like actually really, really hungry. <sighs> but I'm going to get my sandwich during my uh, during my stream break and eat that. So that'll be good. I got to go to the store and pick up some pork chop sandwiches. Oh my gosh. Pork chop sandwiches. Help computer. If you know, you know. Excuse you, sir. Heaven's cataract on me. That's so rude. She's back. She did not stay dead for long. would get another battle right before. Why in chapter 5 do they have certain ones where the models are gigantic? Like that guy, and then on Gagazette has the gigantic mushroom models. Why is that? I don't know. But chapter 5 has a couple spots like that, where it's like the enemy, but it's like a bigger, in the same model, but it's like big. Signed and sealed. Signed and sealed. Go up! Elevator, go up. Alright, so then we're gonna come on over here. Yeah, it popped in my head earlier today, so I thought it'd be hilarious just to cook pork chop and slap it between some bread, right? Who does that? <laughs> I love that video. Oh, I should put that on my thing, on my um break rotation. Okay, Machina Booster. That's what it that's what you get. That's what you get from here. And then um, there's no save sphere, and you can't go up the lift. You're blocked because uh, you're because we're New Yevon trash. So um, we have to run all the way back um, like freaking scrubs. So we're gonna run, run like the the New Yevon uh, losers that we are. Why did we do that? Why didn't we just join the good guys? Well, well, because. <laughs> Because. My girlfriend's sick, so I thought I'd make her smile a bit because she's miserable. Oh my god, I'm a miserable sick person too. I'm like such a baby. I'm like so tired all the time. Like I just pass out all the time. 
pork chop sandwiches. What were those videos called? I could even try to find them. I don't remember. I don't remember. But it was like the G.I. Joe, like, PSA things. Maybe it was like G.I. Joe Abridged or something. I don't remember what they were called, but I've watched them. G.I. Joe PSA? Okay, so they're just called that. I have to go find one of those. Maybe I can find the pork chop sandwiches one. I wish I could sleep when I'm sick, but I can't sleep unless I'm very sick. That's all I do when I'm sick, is just pass out. I swear it's so annoying. Because you think like, oh, I'm sick, so I, I don't have to work. Like, I can play video games or, like, read a book or, you know, do something relaxing like that. No. No, I can't. Okay? Maybe when I was a child, but as an adult, no. I just fall asleep. I can't do anything. It's so annoying. So, yeah, I'm the worst sick person. Stop fighting me, Youth League. I'm not really on anyone's side. I guess I'm not really on their side either, but you know. I just watched Mystic Pizza, Pizza or some other rainy day movie. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, I actually do do that. You know what I love? Um, on Disney Plus, they have like Disney Park documentaries and things like that. Um, I love that. I love that. Because like, I feel like I already know all the trivia. So it's just like I can turn off my brain and be like, yes, teach me all the secrets of the Magic Kingdom that I already know. But for some reason, like, it can hold my attention, and, um, I don't feel bad if I fall asleep during it. So, yeah, I'll watch those. Um, if I can't find an, one of those that I like, then I'll watch, like, nature documentaries. Um, but it's gotta be cute ones. You know, sometimes nature documentaries are even a little bit too intense. Because they make you feel bad for the prey animal, and then the prey animal gets eaten. Uh, yeah, like, watching people wander on Epcot. Yes! Yeah! Like, why is that so entertaining when you're sick? I don't know. It's like the right level of, like, nothing but also something. Yeah, I love it. Alright, so, that's Mushroom Rock Road. Alright, let's board the airship. Alright, you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so... Speaking of food and uh, and all that stuff, um, we are actually gonna pause right here to take our break. So, where'd my mouse go? Oh my gosh, okay, it's all the way on the other screen. There we go. Okay, so anyways, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Um, for those of y'all, oh, wait, I didn't click, I didn't click the stop recording. Bye YouTube, oh my God.